there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Unstoppable and undeniable. You may not like Rocco Bellagio, but you cannot let the facts get in the way of a good story. Facts. Rocco laid out the pastor of disaster. Facts. Rocco laid out Mitch Huff. Facts. Rocco laid out Rudy Switchblade. Will wrestling's rock star just be another victim of the show stealer? Let's go to Ron Head for the introduction in our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It is a title match for the OVW Heavyweight Championship scheduled for one fall with a 60 minute time limit. Your referee appointed to this title match, AJ Lucio. Introducing first, the challenger. He is rocking it from the Sunset Strip, weighing in tonight at 226 pounds, wrestling's rock star, Ryan Howe. Howe, a former two-time OVW heavyweight champion, but like nothing more than to leave the night with the title back and around his waist. He is from the Jersey Shore. He weighs in tonight at 282 pounds. He is the current reigning and defending OVW Heavyweight Champion, the show stealer, Rocco Bellagio. Rocco defiant, definitive in his statement, saying that he will hold the championship until he dies or retires, that no one will take it from around his waist. Broadcast colleague Ron Head returning to the booth here, and could you feel the animosity? Could you cut it with a knife when you were in there with Rocco and Ryan? I had to cut out of the ring there. I thought the fight could just ensue at any time. I thought I was gonna be caught right in the middle there, and that is a scary, dangerous place. So much hatred, so much animosity, and such importance in a title match. Rocco and Ryan met at the Rusty Bucket earlier in September for the OVW Heavyweight Championship, and Rocco used that heavyweight title to knock out Howe and retain the belt. Majority owner Dean Hill said that's not the way it's gonna go down. There will be a match. He may wrestling rock star another shot here tonight, the Saturday night special. You know, Ryan Howe, he's gotta act like he's not intimidated. He's gotta act like he's not nervous, but he's standing across the ring from a man who is not figuratively, literally, sent his opponents off the top of the building. He's coined the phrase, the plunge, by throwing his opponents off the top of the building. But not intimidated, and they're starting out, guns a-blazing, fist of fire here. Ryan with the first strike here. And wrestling rock star can care less that Rocco Bellagio is the mayor of Punchtown, and Rocco going quick to the cover. What does wrestling rock star have anything to be afraid of? If you look at the two, the three times that these two have met in 2016, it's two to one. Ryan Howe into the cover. Both legs hook, but Rocco's out quickly. It's two to one, Ryan Howe. And the one victory that Rocco got, he got because he used the OVW championship to knock Ryan out. Not saying that Ryan Howe isn't capable, not saying he's not willing and able, but one thing you might be afraid of is, I don't know, heights? You want to take a crash landing, doesn't matter whether you fear it or not. The difference is, ladies and gentlemen, this is not any kind of stipulation match. We're not doing stairway to heaven. This is not no DQ and no holds barred. This has to get done inside the squared circle. Putting his finger, Rocco's finger, in the chest of Ryan Howe and Ryan Howe. And inside the squared circle, wrestling's rock star believes that he is better than Rocco Bellagio. Going for the plunge already? Rocco going for the plunge and... Ryan Howe. Had it scouted. Hits the far side rope, comes back a head full of steam. Rocco for the athleticism of the OVW champion, but some shivering forearm jacking the jaw of the larger Rocco Bellagio. Ryan is rocking here. And Rocco's in trouble. Rocco's in trouble in the early moments of this match here. Spoke too soon. Rocco sidestepping Ryan Howe and launching Howe to the floor. And this is where Ryan Howe is in a lot of trouble. Rocco is so dangerous when they leave the ring. Exactly. 
Rocco has put men through tables, through chairs, through walls, using gravity as his tag team partner. Ryan known for two things, his whammy bar submission and the chart topper, a blockbuster from the top rope. Those are the two things that Rocco Bellagio, you gotta believe, is scouted and going to be on the lookout for. And they're on the floor exactly where they were earlier on at our last TV taping, where Rocco Bellagio actually intimidated Annie Ryan Howe's girlfriend. Fiance, actually, I've learned. Fiance. Well, one thing you don't want to do is disrespect a man's a woman. Andy did not attend tonight at the behest of Ryan Howe. Because Rocco is crazy. You never know what he's gonna do. And, and Ryan, I think, was smart to make sure that Andy stayed away from ringside. And Ryan Howe. Not wanting her to get in harm's way or, or to become a liability in the match. Missed that penalty kick and Bellagio just grabbed the leg of Ryan Howe and that's the hardest part of the ring, ladies and gentlemen. The apron is where all the boards and steel come together underneath the canvas. And this raises the question on the status of Ryan Howe. Has he been quietly nursing an injury while Ryan Howe's been gone from OVW? I don't think he's been quiet about it at all. Ryan Howe was battered and bruised and beat up. Five months as the OVW champion, and then uh, that takes it away from you. It takes it out of you. He had a neck injury, he had a knee injury, he had an arm injury. And Rocco loves fighting people with injuries. Several procedures later, here he is, bursting back onto the scene. Rocco's risking getting disqualified here. And now laying the boots to the challenger. Rocco Bellagio has been on a tear the last several months, but Howe gets his feet up, skins the cat up to the turnbuckle. Rocco's perch, is this gonna be a chart topper? No, it's a missile drop kick from wrestling rock star. Missile drop kick from the top. And Rocco falls like a giant tree. Hooks a near leg and a near fall right there. Rocco is dazed. Rocco is stunned. How that, going to work now on the right arm? On the, that arm. Or the left arm, excuse me. Ryan Howe can apply that whammy bar on either arm. I've seen him do it, and I've seen him win matches with that. Certainly. And already measuring that arm. Howe just said whammy bar, and he's trying to get it applied to Rocco. Over oh, Rocco's dead body. Fights his way out. And still fights his way up. A man who was given the nickname Show Stealer this past year. After doing just that time after time, love him or hate him, stealing the show. Some fans despise him, but some fans even respect him. And into the damaged arm goes a kick from Ryan Howe. Howe certainly is zeroed in on the arm. Arm breaker drop. Measuring the champ's arm over the top and snapping the arm of the champion Looks on the like top a rope. Slingshot type maneuver. Howe trying to separate the shoulder of the OBW heavyweight champion. Because Howe knows that if Rocco's down one wing, that he cannot apply the plunge. Tactical maneuver from the former OVW champion. Cinching down again on that arm. Trying to separate the shoulder from the socket, dislocate the elbow, inflict pain, but a sidewalk spine buster by the champion that still hurts his own arm. I stand corrected. Because Rocco Bellagio's got more power in one arm than most men have in their whole body. Rocco Bellagio's got arms the size of most men's legs. And Rocco has legs the size of most men. And Rocco saying that's it. Looks like he's setting up for the plunge now. With one arm. How holds on? How holds on? And Hal's got Rocco in the whammy bar. Hal's got Rocco in the whammy bar. And Rocco's in the middle of the ring. It's the champion on a tap. It's the rain over of Bellagio. The fans are chanting tap, tap, tap. 
Rocco's got it. Rocco cinched in. Ryan's got his legs grapevine, trying to grapevine his legs around the body of the OVW champion. It's shades of the old Strangler Lewis. It's shades of the old Luthez with that double wrist lock. But look at Rocco. My gosh. Up to his feet with all his weight. And suplexing Ryan Howell and landing on his head. Right on the top of his head. You're immediately concerned about the neck, immediately concerned about the spine of wrestling's rock star. Look how quickly the pendulum can shift. Talk about the power of Rocco Bellagio. Almost deadlifted Ryan Howe and suplexed him with one arm. And Ryan Howe. Gotta be in some immeasurable pain here. I, I don't even know how Howe is getting up to his feet right now with the way that he landed. But ducks underneath the boot and a reverse atomic drop on the champion. Both these men in so much pain. Two gladiators again reverse atomic drop. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this was the saga of 2016. Rocco and Ryan, perhaps each other's best opponents. Bringing out the best and the worst. The nastiest steel Panther Press connects. Yeah. And you talked about that chart topper. That blockbuster maneuver is Ryan Howe gonna measure and try and connect with this? Is the rock star trying to climb the chart right now? If he connects with this, it may be over. Ryan hits it! Ryan hits it! Right. Into the cover! He's done it! No, no! Rocco kicks out of the chart topper, and I don't think I've ever seen that before. This is a feat of inhumanity that I have Never witnessed, and these fans are in awe. Ryan Howe beginning to ask himself, what must he do? Both these men have got to be asking, how can they keep the other man down? Ryan Howe's been literally dumped on his head. Rocco Bellagio may have all the ligaments and tendons. How showing that sign for that whammy bar again. He needs to stop pandering to the crowd and go right after it. Capitalize on Rocco given, while he's got the champ down. Given the champion too much time. Rocco's been dead weight in the challenger's arms, but Ryan's not able to finish the deal right here. I don't know exactly what Hal is trying to apply here. He took too long! He took too long! Punch, two, it's No, over no! Rocco Bellagio must have suckered in Ryan Hal. Rocco must have played possum. A classic case of possum. A classic case of possum. And now the show stealer. Risking disqualification here by putting his hands on the official. Trying to intimidate Ro AJ Lucio. And Rocco's making a mistake right now. Rocco's admonishing the referee saying that he counts slow. Perhaps just frustrated because Ryan Howe kicked out of the plunge, and that's something not many men have done either. Rocco Bellagio's crazy eyes bugging out of his skull. And the show stealer putting the challenger up in dangerous territory. What a strike by Rocco. Ryan Howe with those glazed over eyes, but still fights, still persists. Still determined to stay in this title fight. And Rocco now is staggered. And that time, Rocco Bellagio kicked the top rope. Well, that Rocco's is going to hit a high note tonight. That is strategy right there. And an Okada-like drop kick. Sending the challenger down. That is why they've called him the show stealer. The challenger, Ryan Howe, has crumbled to the floor and has not moved. Ryan's in a bad way here. Again, we talked about how dangerous Rocco Bellagio is on the outside of the ring. Might be a good thing that Ryan Howe's fiance, Annie, is not here at ringside to witness this. But Ryan Howe, 
on the apron and a penalty kick to the jaw of the champion. Bronco getting distracted by the OVW faithful at ringside. Right Took out. his eyes off his opponent and Ryan throwing caution to the wind. With a suicide dive on Rocco Bellagio, both these men down. What an incredible encounter. What an incredible main event for the Saturday night special. What levels would these men take each other? These are human beings we're saying here, Gilbert Corsi. These are just mortal men taking each other to immortal levels. All for the richest prize in OVW. Now rolls Rocco back into the ring. He knows that's where this one has to get done. As the fans start in with the rock and roll chance. Getting up to the top turnbuckle. The House challenger. Perch for the chart topper one more time. Oh, no, 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 no! A plunge, a plunge. I'm not sure if Rocco got all of it. I'm not sure if Rocco got all of it. Rocco may have slipped climbing up like a cat to the top, but Rocco did connect in a very devastating plunge from the top. I think that Ryan saw Rocco coming and tried to counter. And Rocco's foot may have gotten caught on that second rope. Nonetheless, a damage is done. And Rocco Bellagio is looking to finish the deal right here. But again, how? That's the question. How's he doing? The Cut plunge. the plunge. Cut the plunge again. Wrestling Rockstar is out. Your winner and still OVW Heavyweight Champion, Rocco Bellagio. Rocco's reign lives on. Who can stop Bellagio?